I'm Sheila Reed. This is David Oliver. Hi, this is Kim Conley. Hey, it's Sonia Richards Ross. Hi, this is LaShawn Merritt, and you're watching Runner Space Live. This is Runner Space Live. You're watching Runner Space Live. And you're watching Runner Space Live. Eugene, so how to do it. You've got the look. Over the ball here. We're here with Bob Sigorin. That's quite a mustache you got there. <laughs> I don't know if it's free mustache. Is it not free caliber? I think you could give him a run for his money. I know I couldn't give him a run. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe not. We're here with Chris and his son Tiger. And Chris, we've been looking for the best facial hair. This is like, this is my A game. I think you should have gone all the way. You have the handlebar potential. So Mary Kane just ran uh, 159 in the 800. <laughs> good job, Mary. Way to ruin my self-esteem. Did you see any other good Please. mustaches around here? I've been I've been looking for them. You know what? I was too busy following the race. I guess I guess that happened today too. Huh? Uh, did you see Will Weir's mustache? Will Weir has a great mustache. Yeah, it's like somebody mentioned that. Yeah, a little mustache inspiration, maybe. If you could see any type of celebration today, what would you like to see? Backflip. A backflip. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Kyger? What kind of celebration would you like to see today? Ah, oh, you want to see someone wipe out? That's adorable. <laughs> cool. All right. First round of jumping. It. Gonna be back out here for NCA. Well, we look forward to seeing your mustache next week. All right. While well, I look for more mustaches, now over to Ian in the newsroom. Does he have a mustache? I sure hope so. Yeah. You know, Matt, I just can't seem to grow a mustache. I've been working on this one for about a month, and you know, maybe I'm just not trying hard enough. Ow, whoa. Oh, it worked. Awkward video of the week. Well, he has great vision as he kept an eye on the competition behind him and had the... We're going to be all over the place this weekend. I'll have links in the description to great coverage you can find right here on Runner Space. A couple highlights, I'm going to be at the Golden West Invite in California, and once again this year, we're going to be live from the Ontario Canada High School Championships, or OFSA, beginning this Thursday, June 6th through Saturday. That's at runnerspace.com slash OFSAA. Check there for info on the webcast. Runner, Runner Space, space Rundown. rundown. It's the High School Rundown. Let's start this week at the Prefontaine Classic where a couple high schoolers were invited to run. And of course, one of them was high schooler Mary Kane and she did not disappoint. She ran in the fast heat of the women's 800 against professionals and took fifth with a new U.S. high school record of 159.51, breaking the previous record which has stood since 1982. And the other high schooler here was Bernie Montoya who ran in the international mile making a bid for the sub four mile. And he fell just short but ran a spectacular 401.71, getting a new national lead. All right, moving on at the Freddie Houston Meet of Champions in Denver, Colorado. Mary Beth Sant, fresh off her second place finish in the Dream 100 last week, reclaimed the national lead in the 100 running in 11.25. As always, there were great relays at the California State Meet. The team champions, Long Beach Poly Girls, ran a U.S. number one 44.93 4x1. Unipro Sarah Boys also ran the top time in the nation in the 4x4 with a 3.10.59. Some individual performances, Great Oaks Jade Miller ran a U.S. number one 300 hurdles with a 41.02. Blake Haney of Stockdale got the distance double in the 1600 and 3200. And Sprint Superstars 
Long Beach Poly's Ariana Washington and Notre Dame's Kalfani Muhammad each swept the 100 and 200. Wow, at the Michigan State meet, Hannah Meyer had an incredible quadruple, running a U.S. number one 439.2 in the 1600, a U.S. number two 206.35 in the 800, and anchored her team's 4x4 and 4x8. Also, Wald Lake Central's Colin Prane at three U.S. number one 210 feet one inches in the discus and won the shot put. And lastly, at the Virginia State meet, Oscar Smith senior Michael Cherry threw down a fast U.S. number one in the 400 with a 4602, and Aaron Whirl of Woodside put up a U.S. leading 51 feet 5 inches in the triple jump. It's a college pro rundown. All right, the Prefontaine Classic, the fourth stop on the IAAF Diamond League in Eugene, Oregon. Let's kick it off on day one for the distance night. The men's 10K was not a battle between Mo Farr and Kenanese Bekele, as Farr decided to switch to the 5K the next day. And it came down to a sprint finish between Bekele and a number of Kenyans and Ethiopians, which Bekele won with a 27-12, although he was not happy with his time because he fears he might not be selected for the Ethiopian World Championship team. All right, Saturday of pre, perhaps the best performance was in the field, as Olympic high jump bronze medalist Mataza of Barshim of Qatar cleared 7 feet 10 and a half inches in the high jump, which is a Hayward Field record and the highest high jump clearance in 13 years. German World and Olympic champion Robert Harding won the discus with a throw of 69.75 meters, extending his huge winning streak to 35 competitions. And the women's 800, although high schooler Mary Kane stole the show once again, it should not be overlooked that Burundi's Francine Nyam Saba ran an insanely fast meet record 156.72. And also American Brenda Martinez ran very well, taking second with a personal best 158.18, and the men's steeplechase had quite the heated finish, as the leader on the home stretch, Ezekiel Kemboy, cut off Kenyan Conceslas Kipruto, pushing him onto the infield, but Kipruto managed to hang on and pass him for the win in a meet record 803.5, while American record holder in the steeplechase, Evan Jager, ran very well, taking fifth with an 808.6. In the women's 5K, Olympic gold medalist Tiranesh Dababa got the win with a world-leading 1442, and American Kim Conley finished ninth, getting the world championship A standard with 1509. In the men's 5K, Mo Farr got beat. He took second, as Kenyan Edwin Soy got the victory in a 13.04. Americans Bernard Legat and Galen Rupp were fifth and sixth, and Chris Derrick ran very well, taking seventh with a 13.09. Lastly, the Bowerman Mile, as always, was very fast and exciting. Kenyan Asbel Kiprop looked to have the race won, but he eased at the line and was outlaned by Silas Kipagat, who got the win with a world leading 349.48. It's the Road Racing Rundown. Whoa, we got a fast one this week at the Rock and Roll San Diego Marathon and Half. Kenny Bernard Coach ran the third fastest half marathon ever, albeit not on a record standard course, with a time of 58.41. He beat out Kenyan Elliot Kipchoge by a minute and a half as Kipchoge was second with a 60.18. The top American was Meb Kofleski in fourth with a 102.11. World champion marathoner Kenyan Edna Kipagat got the victory on the women's side in a 108.56. Beat now fellow Kenyan Georgina Rono in a 109.03. Dina Castor was the top American woman in ninth with a 115.51. In the front Hopper run for women 5k in Albany, New York. Kenyan Emily Chibet won for the second time in a 1526. Elsewhere, Moroccan Hassan El Abassi won the Memorial Rahal 10k in Morocco. Just one week after winning the Ottawa 10k in Ontario, Canada, he won both with sub 28 minute times as he ran a 2756 here. At the ASIC Stockholm Marathon in Sweden, on the women's side, Swedish marathon record holder Isabella Andersson got the win for the fifth time in a 233.49. At the Platinum Performance State Street Downhill Mile in Santa Barbara, California, Michael Coase had a course record getting the win with a very fast 3 49. From the 2013 Prefontaine Classic, I'm Matt Barnhart, and fresh off his 401 mile, this is Bernie Montoya. Woo! This is Runner Space Live, signing out.